happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope nobody got pinched. I don't know if anybody in the family was wearing green, but if they weren't, I didn't pinch them. So I guess I was a little bit nice, but there's still a little bit of time. They may get pinched yet. Uh, you just saw a bunch of basting pictures. That was our first time wall basting, and it came with a bit of a learning curve. We had some trouble initially with the spray basting stuff that we had. I guess it was old or something. It was super gummy. It was coming out like silly string. It was bad. It was so, so bad. But hubby went out, got some new spray, saved the day. Oh, I am so lucky to have him. And then my son helped get everything pinned because I always do a little bit of extra pinning around the edges and in a few of the blocks just to make sure that everything holds nicely. Now it's time to quilt. Let's talk thread. I know that I had a ton of green thread at one point. Don't know where it is. It's not with any of my other thread. I'm suspecting it got gathered up for a project and never put back. That's my thought. So that it's with some sort of UFO. But the things that I did have were this, which, while it does work with a couple of the fabrics, it was a little bit lighter than what I wanted to use on these darker parts. And it was kind of dull. It made me a little sad. So the other one I had was this, which again works with some of the colors, but it was a little too neon for me. And for this project so then we've got this which it's a sulky blendable I love sulky blendables and I definitely like this I like the blendables especially when I'm using a bunch of different colors I kind of feel like it just ties them all in together and we also found this blendable as well debating darker lighter darker lighter and I decided on both. I'm gonna do some quilting on these darker parts with the darker. And I'm gonna quilt on these lighter fabrics with the lighter. I don't know which one I'm gonna use on the border. I'll have to decide that later. And the quilting I'm going to use is just very, very, very simple cross hatching. The interesting thing is, is that what, well, a friend of mine tells me that she calls it ping ponging and I call it pivoting, Pivot. but it really saves a lot of time when you're working on a rectangular quilt. You can start at one corner and go this way. And when you get to your border, you just pivot and go, and then when you get to that border, you pivot, pivot. and pivot and pivot. And so you've got this one really long stream of quilting. So it's a lot better than the starting and the stopping. So I will probably quilt through all of these and I'll do the same thing with these, but I'll, I don't know if I'll do extra or just the one. And I'm not sure what I want to do with the white sections haven't decided yet. We'll take it one step at a time. I may decide that after I do the small squares and the big colored squares that I'm finished, it's probably just going to hang on the wall so it doesn't need to be extremely quilted. It's not going to be getting a lot of physical hands-on attention. So tomorrow is quilting. Now normally when I quilt, I fling the quilt all over the sewing table, this way, that way, this way, that way. And I'm not sure if or how we're going to be able to film that. So we shall see how that goes. And later on, I'll have to do the binding, but we'll see how things turn out tomorrow. But this is all for tonight. And I hope you're cozy in your jammies.